Hi, I'm Holly Perkins and welcome to the Self Channel. Today I've got for you five ways to hit every muscle. These exercises are great when you're short on time and yet you still want to get a complete workout hitting all of the major muscle groups. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Grab a set of dumbbells and let's get started. So your first exercise is a narrow squat with an overhead press. Start with your feet, toes forward, feet about hip distance, soften through the knees, stand nice and tall. You're gonna shift your hips back, sit down onto the heels, press through the heels, and then drive your arms overhead. So it's a two-phase movement. Arms are down at the bottom, and then reach super tall over top. Make sure you're reaching your hips back at the bottom and driving through the heels so that you activate the glutes and keep the posture muscles nice and tall. Make sure you keep breathing through this exercise because it will get your heart rate up. We're hitting the lower body and the shoulders. Let's do one more and relax and we're moving on. Bring your feet a little bit closer. Bend through the knees, draw in through your abs and keep a long, tall spine with good posture. You're just gonna bend forward slightly so that the dumbbells come towards the knees. From here, I want you to squeeze through your upper back and bring your elbows back. Really squeeze at the top of the motion so that you're activating the muscles of their upper back. This exercise is really great to target the toning through the back of the shoulders, that really nice back line that we like to see, and it hits into some of that bra strap area that a lot of us complain about from time to time. Let me turn to the side so you can see. I want you to really squeeze through the muscles of the upper back, keeping those elbows narrow, but really lifting them high and activating. You really want to make it nice and strong. Let's do one more and relax, and we're gonna move on to our next exercise. So we're moving into a plank with an alternating leg lift. You can put your dumbbells down. We're gonna come down onto the floor and I want you to put your hands directly under your shoulders. Actually take a look and make sure your wrist is below your shoulders or a tiny bit in front of. That's quite important. Activate those arms really strong. Now draw your attention to your core. Activate that core so it's rock solid. Take one leg back, power into that leg, then bring the other leg. From here, what I want you to do is you're gonna lift one foot drop it down, and then we're gonna alternate side to side. You don't have to lift your foot very far off the ground, just enough that you're shifting your weight onto the leg that's supporting you. Keep those abs really strong, focusing on the core. We're hitting every major muscle group in the body right here. Keep breathing, and let's do one more on each leg. Keep that ab nice and strong, and let's do one more, and relax. Great, we're gonna move on. Next exercise is for the biceps and the arms. So you're just gonna bring your dumbbells up towards your shoulders and alternate keeping a tempo. Make sure you're keeping your abs drawn in, posture tall, actively depress your shoulders down towards your hips. That's going to help you put more load onto the biceps. And I love this exercise because it brings a lot of sculpting and roundedness through the front of the arms and it just looks great on the ladies. Let's do a couple more. And we're gonna move into our next exercise. Arms come up over the head, drop one dumbbell down towards the shoulder, soft through the knee, abs drawn in. We're gonna alternate the arms side to side for alternating tricep extensions. So at the top, I want you to really squeeze through the back of your arms, activating those triceps. This is an area I get asked every day how to help people with, and I want you to just really squeeze this is one of my favorite exercises. Really extend through, and let's do two more. And relax, great. And there you have it. Those are my five ways to hit every muscle. I'm Holly Perkins, and I hope you'll subscribe to The Self Channel. Share your thoughts below, send us some comments, and I'll see you next time.